Welcome to the world of Neurotron. Let's look at Photoscore in context. In this video, we'll look at score editing, playback, and one of Photoscore's greatest strengths, integration with not only Sibelius, but other music applications via Music XML and MIDI file export. Also, we'll look at ways Photoscore can be used as a practice tool for sight reading, ear training, and score study. For this demonstration, I'm going to need to go to the preferences and set the language to German because that's the language this piece is in. Now I'm going to go to open PDFs. I'm going to find the PDF of the Schubert piece. It's two pages. Medium resolution should work well. And I've set it up to automatically read the pages. And as you can see, the characters came out looking great. Now that any misreads have been cleaned up, I can further edit the form of the score. I could go to Rescore and change it from Portrait to Landscape. I can also use Rescore to extract parts. In this case, we want a part for just the soprano. If we go to Rescore, now we can hold down the Command key to select or deselect the staves we want. In this case, soprano. I'm going to leave it Portrait. Click OK. I would like to save the existing score because I do want a copy of the full score. I'm going to click Yes, and I'm going to save it in this folder here, and I'm going to call it Score. Great, now I have a soprano part all by itself. If the soprano needs a rehearsal track, that's easy too. We can extract a piano part in the same manner as we just did with the soprano part using Rescore. And of course, this new piano part plays back. It's important to note that the soprano can sing along to this even if she does not have Photoscore. It can be saved as a MIDI file, or if you're on Windows, a WAV file and sent to her. If you have the Windows version of Photoscore Ultimate, you can enter performance mode. Here, the soprano could comfortably perform straight from the screen of her laptop. This next example will show off the versatility of Photoscore Ultimate. We're going to take a string ensemble piece and turn it into a woodwind quartet. First, I'm going to go to Preferences. Under Scanning, I'm going to uncheck Read Pages After Scanning or Opening. You'll see why in a moment. I'm going to open PDFs, and I'm going to find this Mozart string quartet. I'll only need pages 16 and 17. I'll click on the first page. We only need the third movement. The blue staves and red lines show the staves and systems that Photoscore has detected. We're deleting the blue staves of the end of the second movement so they aren't red. I click on the stave and then press the delete key. Multiple pages can be selected by clicking and then Command or Shift clicking on them. Then click Read on any of them to tell Photoscore to read them all. It isn't necessary to do one page at a time. This came out great. And notice how Photoscore intelligently placed hidden time signatures to compensate for the pickup bars. I'll do a few corrections. As you can see, the forte on Staff 2 is missing. That's because of the brackets put around the forte in the original. Remember, it's easy to copy a dynamic to another staff by clicking on it once to select it and then opt-clicking it into the staff you would like it on. I'll click Play for a quick note check. Notice it plays back the default piano sound because there were no instrument names on the original score. Originally, these were strings. Now, we're going to turn them into woodwinds. We go to the left of the first staff where it says Staff 1. I'm going to click on this, Rename. And I would like English, please. Thank you. Flute. Staff 2. Rename Oboe. Staff 3. Rename Clarinet in B-flat. Staff 4. Rename 
bassoon. All right, great. Let's close this up. Let's hit playback again. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Ah, I see the culprit. Clarinet in B flat is a transposing instrument. So we're gonna go up here to transpose. I wanna transpose the clarinet in B flat up a major second. I wanna transpose the key signature as well. All right, it's up a major second. Let's hear it now. That sounds better, but your sharp eye may have noticed that this is the wrong clef. I'm gonna double click. Now, I want the G clef, make sure we click rewrite notes. Now, let's play back again. In bars seven and eight, I have some extra notes in the clarinet part. Clarinet's a monophonic instrument, so I can't have more than one note at once. To select a note, click directly on the note head. Clicking elsewhere in the highlighted region will select the entire chord. In this case, I'll click the top note and press delete. I've noticed some of these notes are a bit low for the oboe. If I click and then command click, I can select the notes that I require and use my up arrow to get them into the octave that I need. Note, if you select a single note, you can use the command key in conjunction with the up or down arrows to bring the note up or down an octave. This looks good. I'm gonna send it to Sibelius. I can click on the Send to Sibelius button. If Sibelius is not already open, PhotoScore will open Sibelius. Since I have a B-flat clarinet in this score, I'm gonna choose this is a transposing score. I'm gonna let Sibelius choose the instruments for the staves. I'm gonna leave my paper size on letter, but you may wanna change it to something else. For house style, I'll keep podium, that looks good. And I'll click OK. The first thing I do when I import a score into Sibelius is do a select all and unlock the format. There, that cleans it up nicely. Notice, Sibelius has automatically created parts. Let's hear how it sounds. Sounds great. What if you're using another music notation software? No problem. Let's export a music XML file. It's simple. Instead of doing send to Sibelius, we go to the left here and we click save as music XML. I'm going to save a music XML file. It's as simple as that. You can now open this file in Finale. Dorico, MuseScore, or any of the other 250 software applications that open or import Music XML files. Check with your specific music notation software on instructions on how to do this. You can also save a MIDI file of your score. We're going to go to the File menu, Save As, go down to Format, and select MIDI. The option for create a track for each voice is useful if you have a staff that has notes in multiple voices and you would like them to go to separate tracks in your MIDI file. We're gonna click save. Now you can import this MIDI file into many computer-based digital audio workstations like Pro Tools, Cubase, Logic, and others, as well as many tablet and iPad apps such as Cubasis and GarageBand. As you can see, PhotoScore and Notate Me Ultimate is a valuable tool on its own, but it also opens up a world of possibilities through its seamless integration with Sibelius, 
and the ability to export Music XML and MIDI files. And for more information and to download a free demo, visit Neurotron.com.